Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Today's show is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. By Quantum Rods and Reels. Fishing at a quantum level. And by Mercury Marine. Celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. So we're going after anything we can catch. Anything. Anything. Yep, anything. Redfish, speckled trout, bluefish. Jack Cravels. Jack Cravel. Catfish. <clears throat> uh, no. Hard heads. No, no hard heads. <laughs> anything that'll bow this light tackle up, right? I guarantee they will. There ain't no doubt about that. Well, we've had some good trips down here on big stuff. You know, big bull red, so. Light tackle fishing in Choctahatchee Bay is, that'll be a fun trip. Go I'm hit looking the, forward to go it. Go hit the flats, man, and move around and see if we can't get them. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Good. I uh, love to kind of match the tackle to the size of the fish. They've been biting pretty good, too. We've been catching some quality fish, so it ought to be fun. It's been quite a spell since our host Bill Dance has been down to the Emerald Coast of Florida, one of his favorite places to fish. So he made a quick call to excellent area guide Captain Daniel Pike of Inshore Angler Charters to see what might be biting in the popular Choctaw Hatchie Bay at Destin. Daniel's been fishing these beautiful waters over 30 years, and he and Bill became good friends quite a few seasons ago. Choctaw Hatchie Bay is an inlet of the Gulf of Mexico, which is fed by the Choctaw Hatchie River, arising in southern Alabama and flowing about 140 miles south into northwest Florida. According to Bill Dance, the fishing here is much better than good year-round for several species. Should the action ever slow down, which we seriously doubt, there's always plenty of other things to do for everybody in this entire area. Beautiful white beaches and emerald green waters here in Northwest Florida offers unsurpassed shopping, golfing, great dining, and lots of other family fun entertainment. But today, Bill's here for some rod bending, string stretching fun, as Daniel puts it. So let's drop the power poles, bait up, and see what's in store for this illustrious pair. Now, how are you gonna do this? I'm gonna take this uh, little golden boy. You're tail hooking them, right? Yep, just like this right here. All right. You want to go on the on the downside of the, the fin right there so it's easier to pull out. So it's easier to pull out. If you go up in here, you know, got to go through his fins and stuff, and you could miss some fish. All right, now, you're tail hooking them for what reason? So we make long casts and make them flash more. Okay, you got weight forward with the head up yeah, there. Yeah, when you don't, it's like a torpedo. Yeah, they go I got head you. first. Okay. So they don't helicopter as bad. All right, now, this is this this little bait right here. He's called a croaker, yep. right? Golden croaker, golden uh, Atlantic croaker. And this is one of their their favorite forages, right? Oh man! Huh? The biologists say that golden croakers eat this time to eat their trout eggs and baby trout, so they're they're really aggressive on eating them. Yeah. We're fishing a grass bed. Yep. We're big big old grass flash, and about here you don't never know what you're gonna catch. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Trout. Yeah. I've never seen trout jump. They like sure these. do here, buddy. They will come clean out of the water here. They'll do backflips. They will do all kind of stuff. But he's a decent one, though. But he's a trout. He ain't little, though. I guarantee you that now. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know what you're talking about. That is a fine speck. Wait a minute, you got the net. No, I got didn't. it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I'll hold him just a second. I'll take care. There you go. Circle out. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. How'd it do? Toodaloo.
Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, with marinas in Burris, Myrtle Grove, Point of Lahash, Empire, and Venice. Definitely a Ronald McDonald boat. Never seen that before. There he goes. Got him. What's going on, Captain Ga Gap Top? Ooh, oh, that's a, a nice speck right there now. That's a big trout there. That's a big old Speckus Aurelius. We'll take that. What do you call it? A Speckus Aurelius. That's like a gladiator speckled trout. I got my own language, I told you that. I believe that. Many times. I got my own language. You gotta get to know me for a while to understand what I'm saying. Uh-oh, we got a double on of two big trout, maybe, or a trout and a redfish. You want, yeah, there we go, come on. Whoa, I like to ran out of this boat. Whew. Yeah, that's a pretty one right there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Got him, and a hook got him, but he came out of the no, he didn't. It went all the way through. Oh, man. Hold on, boys. Uh-oh. All right. Go uh, go with him. Uh -oh. I'm going to be getting this now. Uh-oh. Net. This might be the irrelevant real deal. Holy field. If this is well, what I got I, this one. If this is what I... Oh, it's a red. Whew. Man, he... That's a pretty trout. See you, baby. Boy, he was fighting like a speck. I was getting all stirred up there. What you got? Redfish. I thought you had a trout. I thought I did too. He never fought like a red. He just stayed on top, wallowed around. That glare out there, I couldn't see him. They're Can all you call in. yourself a guide? Yeah, something like that. Look at the spots on that one. Look at the spots on that one. Get him under his gill where you can see all those spots. He is spotted up. Oh, I'll tell you what, he is healthy. Too. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Little chunky monkey. Here we go, baby. Go back and get full of bull. That rod is so light and so sensitive, I can feel everything. I can feel everything that bait, that bait is just shaking like yep. that. He moves a, just a hair, you can feel him. Yeah, and way. I've got a bow in my line that goes out there. 20 feet at times. Yeah. Look at ooh, that. Ooh. You see it? Oh, yeah. He was after him. But I can see my line right there where it touches yep. the water. That fluorescent line. Oop, I'm on. You got it? Yep. Uh oh. I know what that is. I think I do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come here he goes. Me. Yep, here he goes. He's saying, I wait a know minute. what that is. Now, you talk about, look at that pole. Look at that rod. It's, it's get, that fish is giving you all you want with I 10 guarantee pound it. line. I guarantee it. Look at that. Look at the bow in that rod. You know, matching your tackle to the size of the fish, Son. like I said, that's, that, that's <laughs> the fun. Where are you going, bud? Look, I had him all the way to the boat, and he done. He I saw him stripping line. Oh, I got Look a jack. Huh? It's a jack. Oh, no wonder. I hate those things. When, I, when I'm fishing for bigger fish and you tie into one, it's an hour fight. It's unbelievable how fish. hard they fight. I oh, mean, look, really, it's really. Look at him. Turns his whole body sideways. Let me try to make one quick stab. I got him. On a 10-pound rod, that thing gave you all that, and that fish weighs about two pounds. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Look at that pretty little thing. Look at that thing ain't but maybe a little over two pounds and he lit me up on that 10 pound rod. He did light you up. Ready, here he goes. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, jump over the Mako stick. <laughs> that wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. Today's show is sponsored in part by Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. 
and by Motor Guide. Never stop. Today's equipment log is sponsored by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product. They'll keep your ice fresh for up to 10 days. The bait's going crazy. Oh yeah, they're down there. This grass is loaded with it right now. Well, you got a unique place here. You got shallow water way out there. You got shallow water way behind us. You got shallow water in close to the bank, but you got kind of a deep, a deep kind of hole right in here close to the bank. What forms that? Is that just kind of a sinkhole or is it a depression or something? Just a depression. Missed him. Oh, look at Lee right there. The trout's all over you. Oh, that was a nice speck. He came up, blew him up on top water. That was funny. Open your belt, just let him run down there. He <laughs> did. I saw that him trout. go. <laughs> I saw him go doop with it when I was reeling it in. Yep. Look oh, at there he is. He got, got it. it. Got him. I saw him come back and hit it. Nice, nice trout. But the only problem with the trout. He swallowed it, I think. No, he didn't. <laughs> that was cool. He came up top. I was asking you about. I was asking you about the depression. And you caught a depression. Or was it a sinkhole? It's or just a depression. Just, just naturally formed that way. But for miles and miles, you get that hook. Right there. Miles of grass and. Potholes and mud. How would you find that? How would you, how do you find those kind of places? Trial and error. Look at that one. Hello, that pretty thing. Bill, what it is is just about a 75-yard depression right in right down this bank right here. And just runs in here real close to the bank. Yep. The fish have got everything they want here, don't they? Everything. They got the grass where they lay their eggs, the trout, forage lives in it, everything. They got sand, mud, grass. Hard bottom, soft bottom. That's it. Come on, baby. Come up here and show your face. Trout. Got another double. Oh, another nice trout. Oh, boy, that is big. Oop, here. Let me get the net right here, Mr. Bill. Right here. I'll fight this fish. Sit down. Oh, yeah. There we I got go. Him. Here you go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, son. Yes, sir, baby. I Wait might need the net on that one, too. Huh? I'll need the net on that All one, right, too. All right, hang on. Let me just pop this hook out. I'm, I'm with you. About got him. I'm with you. I got this hook All out. All right, let me slide like this. Watch this. We'll fix the show a nice little pair if I can get this one in. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a nice trout. See the difference in the dots? One of them's got more than the other one. Whew. Goodbye. That's double trouble right there, baby. Oh, I'm telling you. How you like brother. that? I like it. You like it? Me too. I like it. Me too. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Got him. Got one? Yep. Yes, you do. The question is, what do you got? He is going down the beach. Buddy, I'm gonna tell you one thing. That dog right there will hunt. Look at him. Uh -oh. He's just doing what he wants to. I gotta turn him back. Yes, yes. Into the net. You ever heard of black and red fish? You heard of that? He starts shaking. Today's dancing lesson is sponsored by Bill Dance on Facebook. 
Like us on Facebook and join in the Bill Dance Facebook fun. Bill posts all the time, and you'll get more great fishing tips there too. One of the highlights of my life has always been helping folks learn how to catch fish. And from looking at all the pictures, it looks like the action has been simply great. Fishermen everywhere are showing off their catch to owners of the Bill Dance app. What? You don't have a copy? Well, we can fix that. Simply download our free app on the iPhone, iPad, or Android mobile device and begin showing off your catch to anglers around the world. The fishing tips are free and so is the app. Today's show is sponsored in part by Grand Slam Mono and Braid. Big fish tough for when the money's on the line. Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. What's the difference? He's on it. He's on, it. on it. He's on it. Honey? Yep. Here we go. Uh, it might be a red fish. Let me get out of your way. Nope. Mr. Blue, Blue Man. Oh, you got it, Blue? Yep. Lighten it up. You never know what you're going to catch. When Not out there. here. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. Whoa, hey, hey, easy. Hey, goodbye. Oh, nice jump. What was it? Bluefish, he just jumped like a smallmouth. How many smallmouths have you caught? Never. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little blue. Yeah. You want to put your thumb in his mouth? No, I did that one time, remember? <laughs> yes, I do. Remember. remember the big blues we caught in, in that rainstorm? Yep. Huh? Yep. Woo. Oh, you got it. Look at them chompers. Boy, they can make lettuce and slow out of your fingers with that, can't they? Yes, they Woo. can. I remember my thumb, that one, that big one I caught. You remember when it was raining? Yep. That big one I caught when I threw out? Yep. We were back up in the back of Destin Bay. Or where the harbor. It? Best Destin Harbor. Yep. Huh? Oh yeah, that, that was, was a nice a one. Big one. And he tore your thumb up. Oh boy, did he ever! <laughs> it took forever for it. To heal. I guarantee it. What is the predominant forage uh, in Shaktahatchee Bay? You've got manhadens, greenies, ballyhoos, pinfish, croakers, spot minnows. I mean, it's all, all of it. You know, each year some baits are better than others. I so mean, fish gorging on them are going to grow big and fat. Yes, quick, it's like right? shad. You yeah. know, I mean, it's like big shad in freshwater. They, they're, 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 they make the fish grow quickly. Especially this there one. There you go. Look at that. That was quick. Look, he came up top for a second. Made a nice boil. I don't know what it is. Does the bay have more grass? Oh, nice speck. Woo -hoo. Let me get to that. Does the bay have more grass in it than than usual? Yes, we have more grass in our bay right now than I've seen since I was a kid. Well, see, that's habitat. Yes, for the baby fish to grow in. Man, this is a pretty one right here now. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That, oh man, what a trout. <laughs> that, that, that is, is a, a gator, man. That is a whopper. That is a gator. Look at that. Man. Look at the Beautiful. mouth on him. Look at that. Look at them fangs. Look at that. Look how look how look how nice that fish is. And you're catching more of that size than you have in a long e time. Ever. Huh? Ever. Ever. Y'all come on down and get some of this right here. <laughs> She'll be waiting for you. Man, that's beautiful fish right there now. Absolutely. Right on, baby. You better count on it. You know, I've said this lots of times. In the Mid-South, this is our playground. It's the closest place to my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. And, I mean, I love, I love Destin, Florida. I love this place. I love the inshore fishing it provides. Of course, it has excellent offshore fishing, but there's something like Daniel and I were talking about a minute ago. There's 12 months a year fishing here. There's something always going on. But this light tackle fishing, you can find trout fishing, red fishing, these puffy reds. No telling what you can catch in the shallow waters. This guy can make it happen. This is something you can do. And this is a guy, like I said, that can make it happen. So make plans to come to Destin and team up with Daniel Pike. It's a trip you'll never forget. I know I've been coming here for about six years. Look here, it just, it goes on and on and on and on. Daniel, I've had a great time. And look at the size of that trout. Boop, it's not a hog, but it's a nice one. How you like that? 
<laughs> but it's been a fun trip. I've enjoyed it, buddy. We'll do it again. That's it. Thank you, partner. Right on. Today's surfing email is sponsored by Mystic Lubricants and their JT4 engine oils, specifically formulated for outboard engines. Mystic Lubrication Domination. What are the greatest ocean pollutants? It's human rubbish and leaking refined oil. Each year, three times as much rubbish is dumped into the world's oceans as the weight of fish caught in them. And more oil reaches the oceans each year through runoff from leaking automobiles and other non-point sources than the oil spilled in either the Exxon Valdez incident or Deepwater Horizon BP spill. Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Destin is located on the Emerald Coast of Northern Florida. The nearest major airport is the Okaloosa Regional, situated nearby on Eglin Air Force Base. We highly recommend our friend and guide, Captain Daniel Pike of Inshore Angler Charters, and also thank Destin Marina for their valuable assistance. Accommodations were provided courtesy of the resorts of Pelican Beach in Destin. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Today's show is sponsored in part by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product, and by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater. Please join us right here again next week.